Hi everyone, okay so this is a little bonus tutorial um, on uh, priority resource um, which is something in SymPy that allows us uh, to deal with um, entities in our queue, for example patients, um, that we may want to see uh, in a priority order rather than the order in which they sort of come in in a standard sort of first in first out uh, type scenario. So everything you've seen uh, up until now in SymPy um, We've had queues for resource, um, and then uh, the first patient that comes in that's waiting for that resource would be the first one um, that's dealt with. Um, but of course, in, in healthcare, as in many other settings, uh, that's not always going to be the case. Um, and in fact, in a, a lot of cases, we imagine uh, an emergency department, for example, um, patients are dealt with in the order uh, it, that's determined by priority, not necessarily in the order in which, uh, strictly in which the order they came in. So, um, you know, patients that need to be seen more urgently will be seen more quickly. Um, and so we need a way to deal with that in our discrete event simulation models. Um, unfortunately, SymPy makes this really easy um, to do it. And it uh, by using something called a priority resource. Um, so you're familiar by now, hopefully with the uh, concept of a resource class, uh, the SymPy resource class that we've used um, extensively in, in our models, um, where we, we set up that resource and we set up the capacity for that resource, etc. Um, but if we, instead of declaring a, um, instantiating a, 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 a resource, a SymPy resource, we instantiate a, a priority resource instead. Uh, the priority resource class is just like the resource class, but it allows us uh, to deal with um, entities in our queue, for example, patients, um, based on a given priority. Um, and the way it does this is it looks at um, a particular uh, integer value which determines um, an entity's priority. Um, and the lower that integer, the higher the priority um, for that patient, for example. So let's see how we do this. Let's go back to our uh, the latest model that we built, um, which was the um, the, or the you built, I should say, but I'll go back to, to my version here in case it's any any different, um, which was the uh, the ED model where we've got patients coming in, they're being registered, then they're being triaged, uh, and then they're either going to staying in the ED to be assessed by an ED doctor, or they're being diverted to the um, uh, ambulatory care unit, the ACU, um, to be assessed by an ACU doctor, um, and so uh, in this system it would make sense that after a patient has been triaged, um, the whole point of triage is to determine um, uh, the, the sort of priority for that patient. And so uh, what we're going to do is just change, make a very small change to this model um, so that we essentially put priorities on these patients so that rather than the ED doctor and the, a, uh, the ACU doctors um, uh, seeing the patient strictly in the order in which they came in, they'll now prioritise them. And it's a really simple change uh, to do this. So I'm just going to talk you through, so you'll be familiar with this um, with this model, um, hopefully, because you've, you've not long ago built it. Um, so we're just going to make a few very minor changes that allows us to implement this, this functionality. So the first change, if we go into our model class and into the constructor, um, now previously this is where we set up our uh, resources, so we've got our receptionist, our nurse, uh, our ED doctor and our ACU doctor, and we set them up as SymPy uh, resources like this. Um, what we're, all we're going to do here is for the ED doctor and the ACU doctor, we're going to set those up as priority resources so that we say that those resources will deal with um, entities, patients coming into their queue uh, based on priority. Um, and so all we need to do to set that up um, is rather than declaring them uh, and creating an um, instantiation of them as a, a resource, a SymPy resource class, we're just going to call them a priority resource instead. So we just say SymPy.priority resource. Uh, and we declare it in exactly the same way. We again still pass in the, uh, the model environment and the capacity, exactly the same as before, but we're just calling them priority resource uh, here instead of resource. And all, all we have to do to make them uh, that kind of resource that could deal with that. So that's a really simple initial change. Now, uh, we've got our resource set up, but the next thing we need to do um, is to, uh, in some way, store the priority value. Uh, remember, that's an integer. Uh, it's an integer that's going to represent um, the patient's priority. Um, and uh, the lower uh, the value of the integer, the higher the priority they'll be given. Um, so 
uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just in our um, in our ED patient class, I've set up um, an additional attribute here, which I've just called priority. Um, and I've got a default value of one. Uh, it doesn't really matter what, what we set that to. So that would be a, a high priority. But of course, if everybody's priority one, then it'll just default to the first in, first out um, standard way of dealing with patients. So we'll default it to one. So when we create a new ED patient, um, then their priority will be set up. Uh, they'll have a little priority attribute and that'll be uh, by default set to one. Now, what we want to happen is that um, when they get triaged, after they've been triaged, we assign uh, a priority to them. Now, of course, you could put in whatever logic you like uh, to do that. Um, just for the purposes of demoing here, I'm just going to set up a really simple um, way of doing that. So we're just going to basically randomly pick a priority number between one and five uh, after a patient's been triaged. And I was in, in the real world, you'd do something a little bit differently depending on the, um, the percentages of patients that are being prioritized or some other logic. Um, but just for the purposes of this, um, just so you can see how it works, we're just going to set uh, select a random number between one and five. So what I've done, I've set up a new method within the ED patient class uh, called determine priority. And all that method does here is it just um, uh, randomly picks a number uh, between one and five, a random integer. So I'm using the ra uh, rand int uh, method of the random library. Um, it'll randomly pick a number between one and five inclusive, and it'll a it'll uh, assign that value uh, to the patient's priority level. So it'll default to one, um, but then when we call this method, uh, it'll update that to, um, well, there's an 80% chance it'll update it to something other than one. Um, so it'll pick a number between one and five, and that will become the patient's priority. Um, so what we want to do is we want that to happen after um, they've been triaged. So all we'll do, if we go down to our um, patient journey uh, method within the within the model class, um, so we've got our registration process here, then we've got our triage process. So um, this is where we freeze the function um, in place uh, whilst the patient is being triaged. So straight after that, what we want to do is then say, right, now you've been triaged, we want to now uh, determine what priority you are. Um, so all I do is I just call the determine priority method of the patient, which is the thing that I wrote uh, up here. So determine, so all it's doing is calling uh, that method here, which is uh, just picking a number between uh, one and five and assigning that to the patient's priority attribute here. So now when patients are triaged, so when patients are created, they get a priority with a default value of one. And then after they've been triaged, straight after that, we'll call that method and it will randomly pick a priority number between one and five. Um, and uh, the last sort of bit we need to do, so we've got the we've got the ED doctor and the ACU doctor set up to be priority resources. So they're ready to priorities, pr prioritize entities in a queue. We've got our patients set up um, so that they've got a priority assigned to them. Uh, and a method for, for assigning that. Uh, the last thing we need to do um, is just tell the um, the resource uh, when we request that resource um, to base it on uh, their priority value and what priority value that is. Um, so here where we've got our, so previously we had, when we requested a resource, we just said with, um, so here self.nurse.request as rec. Um, so here we, we're just saying request a nurse basically. Um, here, what we're doing is just very slightly different. So we're still saying with an ACD, uh, CU doctor with the request uh, function of that uh, 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 of that resource as a request. Um, but all we're doing is we're just passing in this little attribute into the request. Uh, and we say priority equals. Um, so that tells it that we want them to prioritize uh, the entities in the queue. And then all we have to do is specify the number, the integer number, uh, that we want uh, to, them to base that prioritization on. So we've already set up a, uh, a value in our patient called priority, and that's the number that represents the priority level for that patient. So we just say priority equals uh, patient dot priority. So that'll grab, when, when that ACU doctor is requested here, um, it'll simply uh, look at the patient's priority uh, and the ACU doctor will then prioritize the patients in its queue based on its priority. And it'll prioritize those with a priority attribute in the patient that, that's lower. 
So uh, if you've got a patient with a priority of three and a patient with a priority of four waiting in the queue at the same time, it'll first take the, the one with priority three, even if the one with priority four arrive first. Okay, uh, and then we do the same down here for the um, for the ED doctor. Uh, so we've got exactly the same down here. They, we're just uh, adding in this um, attribute that we're passing, telling it to uh, base it on priority with the priority attribute of the patient, uh, uh, flagging up what um, uh, what priority level they should use. So that's all we need to do. Um, and then we uh, that simple change. So just by first of all um, uh, declaring the uh, the resources that we want to be picking from a priority based queue uh, as priority resources. So literally just adding the word priority in here in front of resource. Um, then setting something up in our patient class uh, to uh, to store the priority level for that patient and a method. Um, that we can call that will have some sort of logic. Um, as I say, it'll, in the real world, it'll be something more than hopefully than randomly pick a number between one and five, but uh, some way of determining uh, what that patient's priority is going to be. Then we call that method whenever we we uh, it makes sense in our model. So here that'll be after triage. Then we just call that to determine that priority to set that priority level for the patient. Um, and then when we uh, when we request the resources that are going to be picking based on priority, we just add this in this little bit priority equals and then the whatever the uh, the uh, attribute we've called I've called it pr uh, priority it doesn't have to be called that but probably will be in a lot of cases um, into the request uh, when we call the request method and that's it that's all you have to do uh, to change your model uh, so that based on priority so uh, I ran this model earlier. Um, so if we scroll back through the queue, so what I've done, I've just added in a little bit into this just to, I mean, you wouldn't normally do this, but just to uh, basically print out uh, so we can see what's happening. And I've just, just done it for the ACU uh, doctor uh, queue. So um, it would also be the same for the ED doctor, but just looking at ACU doctor. So um, uh, basically when they uh, to, uh, print out here to say that they're waiting uh, for an ACU doctor. So I've put in the patient ID and then their priority level, uh, patient.priority, uh, saying that they're waiting for an ACU doctor. And then obviously this is now where we, we freeze the function until we get that, that ACU doctor. So then when we get to this bit, we've got the ACU doctor. Um, so now that patient um, with that patient ID has been seen. So again, we put their patient ID and patient priority seen by the doctor. Um, if I scroll up through here, um, you'll see, so initially we may have um, uh, not very much sort of interesting happening, just one one patient at a time uh, being seen by the ACU doctor. But if we look down here, so here we've got uh, patient number 54 uh, with priority four is waiting for um, the ACU doctor. Patient number 59 is, uh, uh, who's got a priority of one is waiting for the ACU doctor. Patient number 60, with a priority of four is waiting for the ACU doctor. Patient 63 with a priority of four is waiting for the ACU doctor. And patient 65 with a priority of one is waiting for the ACU doctor. So here we've got five of them waiting to see the ACU doctor. Um, two of them are very high priority. They're priority one, the highest priority we've got. Um, and three of them are priority four, so quite a low priority. Uh, so if we look what happens next, we can see that patient 59 uh, was seen first uh, and because they had a priority of one. So if we look back at these five here, we can say that patient 59 actually arrived after patient 54. It's actually the second patient to come in, but because it had a priority of one, uh, because they had a priority of one, so they were higher priority than patient 54, um, then they were seen first. Similarly, the next thing that happens after that is that patient 65 is seen with a priority of one. So out of those five that were waiting, uh, patient uh, 65, who was the other very high priority patient, was then seen. And patient 65 came in last out of those those five patients. So the three patient um, patients with priority four uh, are uh, are kept waiting. And you can see then after that, patient 79, who's got a very low priority, the lowest priority of patient, uh, priority five was then seen. But the ACU doctor next sees uh, patient 54 and that was the first patient that came in with the priority of four. So it's then seen all the priority one patients 
Now there are three, uh, well, there are three priority four patients and a priority five patient that sees the first priority four patient um, that came in. Um, so if, if people have got the same priority, patients got the same priority, it'll then see them in the order in which they came in. So you can see how that how that's working. So that's a really uh, easy way uh, to be able to um, put queue prioritization in our models. And that's going to be really important if you're doing any pathway modeling where there's prioritization happening uh, in the real world. And in a lot of um, uh, healthcare settings and you know, a lot of policing settings, I suspect, um, that's going to be the case that you're going to you're going to see patients um, in the order in which um, uh, in an order determined in part by their priority. So you're trying to see the more urgent cases first, particularly if you're, you're modeling an ED, you will absolutely need to do uh, something like that. But as you can see, that's a really easy way uh, to be able to do this. And one of the key advantages of SimPy is allowing us to do that stuff really, really easily. So uh, have a look at that. We've, we've um, uh, uploaded the file as uh, SimPy OO priority resource .py. Make sure you understand uh, how that's working and have a go at building a model, putting that into your model uh, where you've got a priority resource queue. So maybe try it on the uh, on the GP model that you built. Um, obviously, it probably makes a little less sense in, in terms of the weight loss clinic, but try try putting that in, have a play around with that and see how it works. Because actually, it's really easy um, and you can get a really nice uh, emulation of uh, real world um, uh, prioritization of patients. So I hope that's been useful. Um, and tune in again for the next tutorial. We'll see you later. If you have any questions, as I say, um, please do contact us. Uh, and uh, don't forget to, uh, to discuss things on Slack uh, if you've got any questions of either us as the mentors uh, or indeed you want to chat with the other, with the other uh, associates. Until next time, see you again.